Sheehan is standing by live for us in Jay tonight with new details. Jennifer? Guys, today was really about giving peace of mind to employees here at Jay Peak. Attorney Michael Goldberg said the resort will stay open and he had some good news about Q Burke as well. Thank you for calling Jay Peak Resort. How may I direct your call? He was business as usual for workers at Jay Peak. This afternoon, Peter Shumlin and Michael Goldberg, the attorney appointed by the court to oversee the company's operations, assured resort employees there are enough funds to keep the doors open during the off season. There was some funds frozen in Canada that we have to get down here and we'll, we'll have those transferred down here. Uh, we have 4.7 million of immediately available funds that I, I have authorized to be put immediately into the operating accounts to fund the, the, the near future in the off season. We additionally have funds that you may have heard in the court proceeding that a bank had frozen. Um, they've frozen at least $3 million more than what they claim they are owed. Goldberg said some EB-5 investors have told him they're willing to put more money into the project in order to see its success. Over the last week, I've been contacted by several investor groups for different of the projects, different projects, the Kuberk, the state side, who want to in actually infuse additional funds into the equity, into the projects to finish and complete them so the jobs can be created, so they can get their EB-5 visas. Investor Felipe Vieira says he sold all his assets in Brazil, including his house and farm, in order to make the move to the U.S. I decided to, to move here is when I came here to, for vacations. And I was leaving the hotel and my daughter was playing in the playground with a snow, snowman. And I was going away and she said, hey, uh, I said, hey, Carol, let's go home. And she said, though you go home, dad, I will stay. <laughs> Fear is working with Goldberg to ensure a good outcome for his $500,000 investment. But right now, his venture is falling flat on return. It's something like $2,000 or $2,000. 2,500 last year and oh, in, in 2014 and $500 last year. As for Q Burke Resort, the Q will be dropped and several potential buyers are looking at the location for a fall opening. I gave a tour to a hotel operating company, an owner that wants to uh, possibly purchase the hotel. I expect to have a lot of interest in that, but regardless of that, that hotel will be open in the fall for the season. Now, Goldberg also says the resort signature tramway may need about $4 million in repairs, but right now it is safe for passenger use. Reporting in Jay, Jennifer Sheehan, WPTZ News Channel 5. Big day uh, and another big